UN Spider Program is a program which was established by the United Nations General Assembly in December 2006 with the mandate which is to ensure that all countries and all regional and international organizations are able to access and use space-based information to support disaster management activities and emergency response. Disasters can cause massive losses of life and property, disrupt our societies and overburden our national economic systems. However, much could be avoided if we simply have better information about the risk and onset of disasters, as well as improved risk assessment and early warning capacity. are concerned that this bridge may, may collapse because there's there's visible cracks in the dam in the walls it looks a bit dangerous and if this bridge breaks then that's the only access road to Oshakati and the hinterland of Oshakati and so if this bridge would collapse there would be a tremendous problem. This is Jörg Schazinski from the UN Spider Bonn office in Germany uh, coming back to our telephone call that we had a couple of days before, in the meantime we received the filled out user request from, from the UNDP office in Namibia. We checked the geographical coordinates and I just want to verify the weather conditions. So still cloudy conditions, rain, so then it would make sense to specially ask for radar data which are weather independent, maybe Terraza or what is available we have to see. And uh, as we discussed the resolution, it should be high resolution, yeah, okay. So then we will suggest spotlight images, which is up to one meter. And for a typical area of 10 times 5, 10 times 10 kilometers. And we will send out this request to our colleagues in Vienna from the UNOSA office. And they will forward it to the Charter Secretariat to activate the uh, international charter mechanism. Subsequently, on March 14, 2008, UNOSA triggered the International Charter to help Namibia in its combat against the crucial impact of the floods and the outbreak of cholera. Similar to what we've done last year, we should um, try to, to cover the area with whatever data comes in and whatever we can do. Um, we'll be working on Terrasa, I think, just as we did, did last year, but of course we also get some optical imagery. So uh, the ECHO um, has... has uh, started to work on the on the dossier and we have the various data uh, coming in so so we have um, a pulsar imagery we have radar sat imagery uh, and and uh, probably also andre could you look at yeah. some terrasa yeah we collections? already uh, tasked uh, last week so um, that data should be coming in now um, was recorded yesterday so um, we could already uh, work on the maps today so when the data comes in In 2009, the government of Namibia requested a technical advisory mission of UN SPIDER to assess the existing use of space-based technology and information for disaster management and emergency response in Namibia. The mission was requested to identify potential areas where space-based technology and information could play a greater role and propose recommendations on how to improve Namibia's access to and use of space-based technology and information. Following a meeting during the UN SPIDER workshop in October 2008 in Bonn, a team of three experts from UN SPIDER and the German Aerospace Center's Crisis Information Team, DLR ZKI, was fielded to Windhoek, Namibia, to provide technical advice and train local experts in remote sensing techniques for flood mapping. We at UN Spider cannot fight these forces of nature, but we will keep on investing our very best to mitigate the impact of natural disasters by providing access to the respective technology and bridging space and disaster management communities. Our ancestors used to look up to the sky to detect signs of a foreboding disaster. Nowadays, space technology is enabling us to look down from space and even to predict their occurrence. <laughs>